Welcome back, folks, to another unboxing, and welcome back once again to the show. Woo! The Boogity Bob. Alright, folks, welcome back. Got a box here in the mail I thought I'd bring you along for, and uh, some interesting tips on this style of truss rod. So, let's get right into it. I'm going to bring you over here closer, and we'll get right into it. Hold on. Usually I don't make videos in the morning, but uh, this one's <laughs> being made of the morning. This says top right here, so I'm going to try to cut through all this tape. And I uh, thought I'd bring you along. I thought maybe you all going to see this. This uh, package is from, well I can't, I'm not going to say who it's from. I will say it's from a very long ways from here. 2,500 miles or so to be exact, about 2,500 miles away. So there you go. Let's just hope it made the, the journey okay. I hope you can, yeah, I think you can see okay. Wow, it's been hot here, man. It's 98 degrees outside right now, and it's just barely noon, or a little bit after noon right now. 98 degrees outside. Unbelievably hot, just un incredibly hot. I just I can't believe it, man. I told my wife I've never seen this. In all my life, I've never seen like last night. It was uh look if we have a love letter. I don't know if there's anything down in there. There's more paper, I think. Okay, what do we have here? I have to read this love letter and make sure it's okay to read it to you guys. Some people don't want their info given out. You know, that's perfectly understandable. Oh, here we go. Yes, sir. Probably be easiest just to cut through that tape. I don't want to cut what's well, I can just rip through it. Like so. Yeah, there we go. Can't let go of it. Here's the part. We'll get into all of that in just a momento. Hope you guys are making it through the heat okay. Yeah, like at uh, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock last night, it was still like 90 degrees here. <laughs> just unbelievable. I've never seen that before in my life, ever. Seven or eight o'clock in the evening, and it's still 90 degrees. And it's gonna be that way again this evening too, because it's like I say, it's 98 last time I looked, just a while ago. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the goodies, check it out, man. This is from a Stratocaster guitar. I'll have to look and see what year it was from and here is the questionable area if you can see that okay I think the owner the truss rod head was probably getting bad maybe from using the wrong wrench or something I don't know but this has got uh, what Fender calls the Biflex truss rod system in it okay uh, let me get this other stuff here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think it'll be okay to lay that right there for now. Now you seeing a new truss rod adjusting head. And this is the walnut plugs. You know, once the head, the way this works is, okay, you put that truss rod adjusting head on there. Okay, screw that down onto the thing. I'll do uh, tell you in more detail when I do it. But basically, you screw that down on there, tight, tight enough that you get some back bow, and then you fit one of these plugs down into the hole. Okay, then you got your back bow already. You glue that plug in, by the way. And then when you, uh, if you need to uh, loosen the truss rod, it's it's not a two-way truss rod system. But when you loosen that truss rod adjusting head, it shoves up again these plugs. 
and that's what forces relief into your neck. Tighten it to get back bow and loosen it to, to get relief. And of course the pull of the string stress will help too to do that. But that's basically, basically how the, the Biflex system works. So I have to glue that crack up right there. It looks like it almost cracked in two places on him there. I think you can see that okay. I don't know if he took the old trust right head out of there or not. I don't know. No, I think I still see it. Oh, that's going to be bad because that where that's cracked, this whole piece may come out because, I don't know, you probably can't see that. But it's stuck up down in there. And uh, where it's cracked right there, the wood is stuck up down in there and it looks like it's against the adjusting head. Adjusting head's got to come out and it's probably going to shove that chip of wood completely out. I hope that don't happen. Maybe I can get down there and push it out of the way so it's not hitting the the uh, adjusting head before I start to loosen it. August 12th, 2004, right there on the neck. I forget what year he said the Strat was. I think he said it was a, a 90 something. I thought I have to check and see. Genuine fender parts. It's always good to see someone buy those instead of the crappy generic crap that never fits and takes a lot of time to make fit. These should fit down in there without any problems whatsoever. And this should fit without, you know, any problems whatsoever. So watch for that video. I just this video I just wanted to make sure the neck made it here, okay, and it did. Looks like it made it just fine. But yeah, this is from 21 uh, 2500 miles away, man. Check it out. It's a pretty nice neck, too. Always good to see it made the trip. There's something else here. April 10th AM. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe you can see that. April 10th AM is what it looks like. Beautiful neck, man. It's beautiful wood. So what I'll do is, what I told you, screw this. Get the old head out of there first. And then repair whatever damage that does, if any. It's all, it looks like it's already damaged pretty good. What I'm seeing down in there. I see the adjusting head and this piece of wood, I don't know, it just looks like it's laying down on the end of the adjusting head. When the head comes up, as you loosen it to take it out, it's going to shove that piece of wood out, I'm afraid, or break something. That's probably why he sent it to me. But what I'll do is screw this new one down in once I get that out. And like I said, put one of the plugs in. And now I'll probably take a Dremel tool or something and put the match it up with this right here. We'll see. Stay tuned. It's going to be an interesting fix. Hold on. We got only 96 today. It was 98 yesterday. Wow. A cool day. 93 right now. Unbelievable. I'm sweating, man, even with the AC running. Show it to you under this light. If I get up any closer in this, you probably, I'll probably get behind the light and you can't see crap. I don't know if you can see down in there. Let me see if I can zoom you in. And let's show you what I'm talking about down inside of here. Maybe you can see this if I can hold it still. Yeah, see how that wood is covering up part of the adjusting nut? I don't know, man, if you're seeing it or not. I think so, maybe. It's hanging down on the back side. When I go turning that nut, screwing it out of there, it's, I'm afraid it's going to chip the whole thing out. But like I say, that's probably why he sent the neck here. I'll figure out a way to get it out without chipping it out, hopefully. I see a tiny crack right in the fretboard right there. I don't know if the camera's getting that or not. It's right between the third and fourth strings at the nut. The tiny hairline crack right there. This is very bad, very, very bad. That should be. Drop some thin CA glue down into that, maybe, and fill it up. Uh, anyway, stay tuned. It'll be an interesting fix, I'm sure. And I'll uh, teach you more about the uh, flex system. Flex truss rod system. Biflex, actually, is what it's called. And we'll get into it. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you in about two or three days. It's a little bit dark in here. Check this out. Almost 7.15 in the evening. Let's spin you around here. 
Look at this. 89 degrees outside. 7 o'clock in the evening. I've never seen that before in my life. Check that out, folks. It was 94 for the high today. That, that was a cool day. It was 97 just a few days ago. Just unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. 7 o'clock at night. 90 degrees. <laughs> wow. The love letter, by the way. It was just a... Uh, wasn't really a love letter, it was just some discussion on how he was going to pay for this work and uh, how we would, you know, work it out when the job was complete and finished. So nothing new there, I just want to say, somebody's going to ask about, what did the love letter say? Well, that's what it said, just uh, personal stuff actually, so I'll not read it. Thanks, cheers, see you again.